FIFA 17, it's finally here, and every single person, dog, and his nan wants some coins. Well, make sure to head over to goldad.com right now and use Gone for checkout for the cheapest coins on the market. Yo! Guess who's back in the hot seat? I've abandoned you lot. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been Christmas, and I haven't uploaded in five days. You know what? J ah. This is for every day I haven't uploaded. This is actually starting to hurt. And one more, a double. I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I've gone out and paid, and I've drunk some more. And I've also had some great family time, which I hope you lot all have as well. Before any of you even try and say anything, I've looked at my analytics and I know my age group now, my biggest age group, is old enough to drink. So I know you've all been getting fucked up as well. A few younger ones, well, you've been on those J2Os. They do bang. Anyway, today we're gonna start by getting ourselves back in the swing of things. New Year's Eve is in three days. So my schedule may go a little, a little, you know, a little wavy, but I'm gonna get back on track. Starting with a video today and a video tomorrow, so look out for it. But today, oh, oh today, guess what lads? We've got something wild. We have got the craziest transfer that could possibly ever go down. Now, this is mind blowing sh oh. I didn't ever see or ever thought this would even become a thing. Like, I didn't even ever think this would become a rumor. Never even mind a whisper. Never even mind football experts saying it could happen. You're in for a treat. That is all with today's transfer news. We have got Courtois now. His future at Chelsea, I've shown in a few videos, isn't looking too bright. There's a couple clubs after him, he wants to go back to Spain. Now there's a couple Spanish teams after him, including the Giants, Real Madrid. Now I picked up in a previous transfers video that Courtois could definitely be on his way out, but then Chelsea were like, no, no, we're keeping him, but news has come out literally today, it's been revealed that Real Madrid reps have met up with Courtois in London. Now if that isn't alarm bells ringing, if that doesn't scream, this guy is on his bike or on his private jet. I don't know what does. So we could be saying bye bye to one of the best keepers in the world. And Chelsea, you could be saying goodbye to your number one. And we go from Courtois to Steven Enzonzi. Now this guy once was worth a mere seven mil. Now we've got prices like 28 mil flying around. Ever since that move to Seville, this guy has excelled. Chelsea are after him. Man City are after him. There's big money being thrown around for this black dude. There's a couple key essential things to being a good defender, especially on FIFA. Being bald, being black, and by the looks of it, being Steven and Zonzi. This guy is a CDM by trait, but does know where the goal is. I mean, take a little look at what this guy can actually do. So if any of you were actually wondering why Chelsea and Man City are in a big battle for this guy, there's a couple reasons why. He can score, he can defend, and he's big and black. We're then going to move on to John Obi Mikel. Unfortunately, another Premier League target that could be sucked into the Chinese League. Another victim, another Chelsea player. Last week it was Oscar. This week it could be John Obi Mikel. I mean, China are coming calling. These dudes ain't fucking round anymore. I'm not sure what they're up to in China and what they're paying. No, actually, I know what they're paying and it's big ass money. A little article here from, I think it is, The Guardian. Chelsea transfer news, John Obi Mikel to Leap Blues in January and become the latest star heading to the cash rich China. They're not just called China, like any other league is just called the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the Spanish League. China are called the cash league. Because they're so fucking rich. From Macau we go to Evra. 
Everyone's been knocking about the block for the last 10 years now. He's been an established name in the game. He's been one of the best left backs in the world. He's been a Man United Champions League winner. And now maybe it is time for Everett to return to the Premier League. Because West Ham, West Ham, won this guy. I think that'd be a good fit. I'd love to see Everett back in the Premier League. He's choppy, he's good, he attacks. He's just an all round classic good left back defender. And it'd be good to see his face smiling back on a Premier League pitch. We're gonna move up to the big boys now. And starting us off in the midfield, at the top of the top, the elite midfielders. Man like Tony Cruz. Where is he gonna be in January? Where is he gonna be in the summer? Because I don't think it's gonna be at Real Madrid. I've already brought to you that Tony Cruz could be making a move to the Premier League a few weeks ago. And now things are just getting stronger. Rumors are getting stronger. Whispers are getting stronger. And this article says that Tony Cruz apparently spent his whole Christmas in London. And there's even like a little mini Instagram pic. You can go onto his Instagram and check it out yourself. Can you imagine walking through London and seeing Tony Cruz? Now a lot of you could say this is just ridiculous. Just because there's a picture of him in London, that means nothing. But ask yourself this. He's been strongly linked to moving to Chelsea. He's been strongly linked to moving to London, a London club in general. The transfer window opens very, very soon. And Tony Cruz is in London. I mean, if you can't put two and two together, this guy obviously is up to something. And from one world-class midfielder of Real Madrid to another, it looks like Real Madrid are looking to just completely revamp their midfield. James Rodriguez looks like he's on his way out as well. Rumours are getting stronger with this guy. And Chelsea are gonna come calling. They, they're knocking. Chelsea, Man City, you've got big teams. Man United, they're all, they all want it. This article does say that James Rodriguez's move to Chelsea is looking increasingly likely because the Real Madrid star wants to move to Stamford Bridge. He wants to go to the Premier League. Real Madrid have also come out and said he is free to go. So, this, oh, this could be one of the biggest moves in the transfer window this winter. And guess what, baby? We've got some Arsenal transfer news and some good Arsenal transfer news for once. Because Marco Royce is linked to the Gunners. Now we all know there's a lot of players that get linked to the Gunners and it doesn't happen, but this one is quite strong. Unfortunately, I've got a little article here that shows you. We are actually targeting Royce, but that means there's huge fears over the future of Alexis Sanchez. Now everyone knows, every Arsenal fan would choose Sanchez over Royce any day. Royce is a world-class player. Sanchez is just a league above. You know, you get, you get your leagues, don't you? Your Messi, your Ronaldo's, your Ibra's, your Aguero's. And Sanchez is up there with them. Your Suarez, his name as. They're all up there. Sanchez has been offered 400 grand a week to play in China. How do you even spend 400 grand a week? Somebody tell me how! But the most ideal outcome for an Arsenal fan that we can all hope for is Sanchez stays, Royce joins, Arsenal go win the league, boom, bam, bam, fairy tale ending. What will probably happen is Royce will go and join Chelsea, Sanchez will fuck off to Chelsea, and we'll be completely fucked. And from one bit of potentially good news for Arsenal, we have a bit of bad news for Arsenal. I mean, Alex Oxley chamberlain a great up-and-coming star. Every Arsenal fan loves him. He's just a good guy. He's a good footballer on his day. He just needs his time to really just fully develop. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen at Arsenal because Oxley chamberlain could be on his way out. The little scummy bastards Liverpool are considering making a January move. Jurgen Klopp is interested in the 23 year old forward to bolster the title challenge. It has also come out that Klopp has said that these rumours aren't true, but that these other articles are saying Liverpool are strongly linked with Oxlade. I don't know what's going on, all I hope is please, Oxlade, don't go, mate. We love you. We love your kind of. Shitty good hair. We just love you. Please stay. This dude has popped up in almost every single transfers news that I've done. We've had rumors. We've had pure and sheer hope. We've had pretty much confirmed. We've had chasing the guy for five years. And guess what? He's now confirmed at PSG. Once again, Arsene Wenger lost out. I mean, this is one of the most ridiculous stories to come out in transfer history. Draxler wanted 
to leave Wolfsburg and join us. It's, it's in black and white, you can go and find it. He wanted to join us. We didn't get him. Okay, fair enough, maybe that was Wolfsburg's side. Then we had another chance to sign him. For some reason, maybe the money wasn't right. We didn't do it. And now, finally, another chance comes along. PSG and Arsenal in the race. And we fuck it up. Bring on to our strike force. First up, we have Jermaine Defoe. Now, I've been hearing a lot of rumours around about this guy. This is all hearsay at the moment. There's nothing in writing. There's nothing fully confirmed. But Defoe has come out and actually said that he will always love West Ham. And it was a mistake, him leaving. West Ham are also linked with Jermaine Defoe. Hmm. Just after he comes out and says that. Hmm. But apparently David Moyes is like, you ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Is that paranoia that I smell? Nobody knows. Jermaine Defoe, where he's gonna be in January, we're gonna, we're gonna find out. But now finally, on to what you've all been waiting for. I hope you've all made it to the end of this video. Because this is some of the craziest transfer gossip I have ever heard. Ever. This is worse than Messi to Man City. This is worse than Messi to anyone in the world. Like this, this is worse than the links to Messi to China. Who isn't linked to China? Apparently, Real Madrid are making a last ditch effort to sign Messi. This isn't even bullshit. The Guardian have come out and said Real Madrid will take one last shot. What? Like, what? I didn't even know this was a thing. And signing Lionel Messi from Barcelona, according to Spanish expert football journalist, is it Graham, yeah, Graham Hunter? This is the fat ball guy. He knows everything. There's Graham Barnegate and there's Graham Hunter. They seem to know just everything about Spanish football. And a lot of the times, they're right because they've got links and they just know shit. I'm gonna have to take my hat off because my head is blown clean off. That ain't it. I don't care if I've got bad heads, this shit's crazy. The Sun have even come out and said Real Madrid will make an audacious bid to sign Lionel Messi for Dick, Spanish football expert. So you can see the papers, the media are taking this guy's word serious. This isn't a joke. We possibly be seeing the biggest, most shocking football transfer to ever happen in the whole world and that will probably ever happen. This would even shock the Queen. I don't even think the Queen knows what football is. It could put it into an early grave. This is nuts. A lot of the times, you know, it's just, you see this dodgy little link on Twitter, which is complete and utter bollocks. This is like several different huge news articles coming out and saying, it, like Real Madrid are being serious. They're gonna make a move for Messi. He's probably not gonna move. He probably isn't even gonna think of moving, but the four and the audacity and the cheek for Real Madrid to try and sign Messi, their biggest rivals. That's enough for me for today. I am done. But that is gonna be our Christmas transfers news for today. Done, lads. We have had some big names in there. And I hope this Christmas special really has blown your head off because that Messi to Real Madrid. I'm still in shock, and this is all recent news. Could we be seeing Royce at Arsenal? Could we be seeing Courtois at Real Madrid? Could we be seeing Defoe at West Ham? We're gonna find out very soon. The transfer window opens in a few days, and shit's about to get real. If you have enjoyed today's video, lads, and if you have had a good Christmas, and if you are looking to get pissed the hell up this New Year's, drop a like on this video. It'll mean a lot, but as usual, lads, I really hope you've enjoyed, and I'll speak to you all soon. Peace!